on this Thanksgiving ready or fall ready makeup look and I just wanted to get this in before we get fully into winter because I realized that the time is flying by and I nearly missed it so yeah this is just what I came up with this is kind of what I, I'm going to wear tomorrow to a Thanksgiving dinner that I do have and I just love the dark lip but you can totally rock this with a nude lip as well I just really love the dark lip for fall I think it looks super chic and fashion I don't know. So these are my ombre hair extensions and they are from the company Clip Fancy and if you guys want me to do like a review and all that stuff on this hair give this video a thumbs up or a comment down below and I'll do that for you guys but I totally love these things and you can change up your style without really damaging your hair which I think is just awesome. I am a little sick so that's why I sound a little stuffy. This weather has been killing me even though I live in Florida but whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay guys, so jumping right in, I'm going to prime my face using Benefits Professional. Then after pinning my hair back, I'm going to apply my True Match foundations in the shade W6 and W7, and I'm going to blend all that out with a damp beauty blender. And a little trick I like to do when I feel like I got foundation on my eyebrows is take the clean side of the beauty blender and just wipe the product off my eyebrows. So now a coffee break. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows as I usually do. I will link my eyebrow tutorial here for you guys. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids to kind of prime my face my lids for my eyeshadows so I'm just going to apply that like so and blend it out with my finger then I'm going to apply my mineralized skin finish in the shade dark with an E40 from Sigma into my crease and then I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette and I'm going to take the shade trick and I'm going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes to kind of brighten up that area and I'm going to take my Morphe palette and I'm going to apply that orange shade into the middle of my eyelid and just make sure I'm bringing that, that up all the way to the crease. Then I'm going to take this dark burgundy maroon kind of color and I'm going to apply that in the outer corner of my eyelid making sure I kind of wing it out like so. Then I'm going to take a small blending brush and I'm going to blend my crease out. This uh, brush has no product on it. Then I'm going to take brown script with that same brush and I'm going to apply it all over my crease make sure I'm really blending and winging that out because I just like that look then I'm going to take an E40 again a bigger blending brush and blend out all those edges so they're not sharp and I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to use this dark brown color that I don't remember what it's called and I'm going to use a smaller brush to concentrate this in the outer V of my eye. Taking a bigger blending brush I'm going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight my face so I'm going to apply this in a triangle motion underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, above my lip and beneath my lip as well. I'm going to blend that out with my ring finger, trying to tap that into my skin instead of swipe. And then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Then I'm going to apply my Maybelline Dream Loony, Lumi Concealer. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply where I feel like I need more highlight. And I'm going to blend it out with my ring finger and then a beauty blender. To set everything, I'm going to use my contour kit from Anastasia. So I'm going to use my banana powder and a tapered highlighter brush and I'm just going to apply that everywhere where I apply the concealer and then I'm going to set all of my face with my True Match Mineral Powder 
this is in the shade W6, W7 as well. So I'm just going to press that onto my face with a big powder brush, making sure I'm pressing that so I'm really setting my oily beast skin. So now I'm going to take another coffee break and I'm going to start on my contour. So using my mineralized skin finish in dark as well, I'm going to apply this in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, and then I'm going to use the Havana color, I believe, from the contour kit and just deepen up that contour to really carve out my face. I'm going to blend that out with a soft stippling brush and I'm just contouring my nose here with the fawn, fawn color from that contour kit as well. So now I'm going to apply, this is half baked from the Naked 2 palette, I forgot to get a clip. And this is just the orange color from the Morphe palette and that is the deep maroon burgundy color that I, I applied on my outer part. So here is brown script to kind of smoke all of that out. And then I created my wing liner with my Maybelline gel liner. And this is too time consuming to put on the video so I'll have to make a tutorial on this. So now using my beat up Naked Basics, I did highlight with Foxy and Venus, but I didn't get a clip of that. And I also um, lined my waterline with the liquid eye from Milani in black. Now I'm going to apply my four mascaras. And I know that seems excessive, but my eyebrows are so boring. My eyelashes are so boring without them. So yeah, we're going to sing and look crazy. And don't forget your lower lashes as well. And then I'm going to apply blush and I mixed all of these together and I applied them kind of heavily because I feel like these blushes don't really last that long so this is what I do with them and then I'm going to apply this artistry highlighter it's a loose powder and I I love it so I'm just going to apply that right there on my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead Cupid's bow and then I'm going to blend all of that out with that stippling brush again. And then I'm going to use my Jordana lip liner in Cabernet and Black Cherry from Milani. And I'm going to line my lips and fill them in completely with the lip liner just so they last longer. And then I'm going to apply my lipstick. And a little trick so that the lipstick doesn't get on your teeth, you can just grab your finger like so and do that. I know it looks inappropriate, but... It really keeps the lipstick off your teeth. So now I'm just going to apply my setting spray from Urban Decay and I'm all done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. God bless.